Good morning. Welcome to the next episode of Born Fish and Die Fishing. Here we are down at South Sea Love Fed Station. We are just getting set up. We've got one rod out there at the moment. That's got a two hook flapper with three o hooks on it. And yeah, it's got bigger bait, it's got bluey and squid wrap out there. My mate's got one of his rods set up over there. And yeah, I'm just in the process of setting my other one up. I'm going have a two up. Yeah, lovely day as you can see. It's literally just gone high tide. There's another couple of other people fishing down there. Yeah, like I said, lovely day for it. The battery wants to finish setting up. Well, that is me set up for fishing. We've got this one here on a two hook flapper. It's got size 3 0 hooks. Yeah, it's got bluey and uh, squid wrap on both hooks. Let's cast right out there. Hoping for a bigger fish, actually. I've got my second rod over here. It's also a two hook flapper but smaller hooks. That's out there on just ragworm. And here yeah, I've got a clip down pulley panel on this side. And yeah, that's got a bluey and squid wrap on it as well. Yeah, hoping for maybe a ray today, it would be nice. And yeah, just hoping for anything, I'm honest. Yeah, lovely day for it, can't complain weather-wise. Right, hopefully we'll get back to other fish. Greed a little white in there. I had to use a T rod to get the hook out. It's a deep hook, so I've got it out. Yeah, not a bad size, 28 inches. It's alright. Nice little gnashes on them. Not sure if you can make them out. Yeah, lovely fish. More than happy with them. Yeah, getting trucked back. That was on the two up flapper. That was on the rag worm cast out there. But yeah, it's just, yeah, it's low tide as well as it goes to show. Still catch fish on his low tide. But yeah, getting him trapped back. Hopefully we'll get back to you a few more. Oh, I didn't think I'd catch that. Caught a snail. Yeah, it was actually hooked. It was actually generally hooked. Yeah, that was on there. Two flapper, big squids, and blue it right. And that took it. I don't know what. Yeah, as I have a look, you can see the tide's gone out a lot. So yeah, it's coming up to low tide, maybe that's a part of it. But yeah, I've always got plenty of fish at low tide. But to me, I don't think the tide's too much of an issue. But yeah, well, see how it goes. Hopefully, I'll take you to see it. See how I've way, lovely day for it. Just cooked a nice bacon sandwich, across nice. But yeah, mate's just getting rebaked up over there. 
So I don't see why um, but since then it's been pretty quiet. My mate's not really had a lot of action to be honest. Had a few knocks from that, but yeah, it's been pretty quiet. But yeah, the sun is going down. You see, it's literally not far setting. Got a few other fish on the up down there. A few others up there. Yeah, I'm hoping it gets a bit darker. Hopefully, the fish might start biting a bit more. But yeah, we're still putting fresh baits up there every so often. Yeah, I'll tell you, I'll come in a strip, so I think stuff is eating it, but obviously, yeah, you can't really tell on the what. But, yeah, it's still actually going to catch them on. I think my mate's got a fish in him at least before he goes. Yeah, nice time leaving him. Sun just going, nice colour in the sky and that. Yeah, fingers crossed, once it goes down, we'll get a few bites and we'll get back to him. Alright, so it's the same. little rag worm and squid cocktail out there and yeah that was I've got the glow beads glowing up and yeah I reckon that's what done the job to be honest the lovely conga oh it's a little strap conga but yeah it's still a lovely fish right I'm gonna get him shot back hopefully get back to a few more now it's got dark as you can see right shut this fish back hope to have a few more Well, looks like the congas have come out tonight, the little straps and that. I'd go, yeah, chumps holding my finger then. But yeah, this is the second one I've had. Literally, the rod's only just been back out there. Literally, in a matter of two minutes, three minutes at the most. And yeah, it went tearing up again. Another nice little conga. A strap. But yeah, can't complain at that. Get them trapped back. Get cast out. I've only got one rod in it at the minute. It's been a bit hectic since it's gone dark. But yeah, I'm gonna get this one chucked back. Get my two rods cast out there and hopefully show you another. Well, I was gonna do a video, so it's gone a bit quiet. And then yeah, just pulled in that little strap conga. Nice little fish. I yeah, can't complain. It's been a bit quiet really, like yeah, it's been quiet since I'm last year, it's been a while. And yeah, I've got that. But yeah, hopefully we'll have a couple more to show you before we get it. Well, it's my fourth conga now. A little strap there. But yeah, it literally absolutely destroyed my rig. But I don't even know what I'm gonna do with that. Oh yeah, it's not nice. <laughs> but yeah, that took a whole squid. So yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna have fun untangling that. I'll tell you look at the state of it. Not pretty. Alright, get this fella back. You get a quick pick of him. He's not a bad looking fish to be fair. Yeah, get a quick pick of him and then get him back. 
and untangle that. <laughs> right, good old pit for Amber. Well, I've just had to change rigs. I've got an absolutely massive bait out. Honestly, it's probably about that big. It was literally half a bluey, and it had a two squid cutting half wrapped onto it. Absolutely massive bait. And yeah, something absolutely smashed it. And it's straight in the hook, and my rigs come in looking like that. So I'd say, looking at that, that a big conga took my bait. And yeah, obviously it straightened out my hook, so I need a stronger hook. So yeah, about the size of the hook, but I hope I just don't miss my any chance. But yeah, it must have absolutely smashed it. Like I said, the bait was easy, probably like 15 centimeters. Easy, like it was a big old bait. Probably one of the biggest baits I've chucked out there. And yeah, my rig's coming back on that, that hook is now straight. So yeah. Hopefully, with a bigger hook, more stronger hooks, I've still chucked out the same size bait, and then hopefully, with the same, yeah, stronger hooks, hopefully I'll do the job. If there is something out there, hopefully it comes back and takes some bait. Right, get back to one, hopefully. Wow. That's a little white there. It's been a bit of action for a while, to be honest. But, yeah, not a bad little white end. Yeah, we'll probably have a good, one more cast each, I think, maybe to use up the last bit of bait we had. And then, yeah, we're going to get out of it. Hopefully, I've got more to show you. But, yeah, let me just trip this back quickly. But, yeah, I am a bit disappointed, obviously, that I lost whatever that was that smashed up my rig and straightened up the hook. That was an absolutely massive bait offer out there. So I definitely think it was a big conga and the fact is it come back so all out it was, all tangled up and stuff, as a typical what a conga would do. And yeah, it straightened out my hook. I did feel a bit of weight on it to start, but yeah, it's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. But yeah, like I said, I have one more cast. Maybe to use the rest of the bait and then get out of it. So hopefully I have one more to show you. All right, see you soon. Well, I've so slowly sat the pack up now. Make sure I've reeled one rod in and reeled the other two in a minute. But yeah, one thing I did forget to mention, I just snagged up there and lost the rig. But yeah, there seems to be quite a lot of snags out there. But I think I've lost like three rigs now. My mate's lost two, so between us, I've lost five. And yeah, I don't know, you just hit something solid and you just can't get out of it and it, yeah, just break off. But yeah, I don't know what it is, but yeah, just thought I'd let people know. But yeah, I'm literally going to reel these last two in. Never know, got a chance for one more. If not, I'll get back to you. But yeah, I'll get back to you anyway, I'll see you soon. Oh yeah, I can't complain. That's us just packing up now. But yeah, I ended up having three white in and four strap conga. So I can't complain really. More than happy with that. But yeah, just literally packed the stuff in the car and head back. But yeah. Hope you enjoyed watching. If you did, please like and subscribe. I'll see you again next time.